Okay, Jesse's outside with Slater. She didn't see us. Right. All set, James. Fully prepared. My performance will go down in Bayview history. That's face side. Yeah, there too. <laughs> Well, I didn't know you were here. Oh, uh, we weren't until now. Well, I'm Helen Billingham from Stansbury University. Oh, Stansbury. <gasps> Agricultural school, correct? A hog breeding cow milking, that sort of thing? Oh, no, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, we think of ourselves as the Harvard of the West. Uh, madam, north, south, east, or west, there's only one <laughs> Harvard. <laughs> interested in some information about Harvard? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Are you, by any chance, Jessica Spano? No. What oh, then be gone. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Did you say Jessica Spano? Yes, I did, but not to you, Mrs. Pork Bellyham. <laughs> Zach, how nice to see you again. Uh, actually, I wanted to talk with a representative from Harvard. Ah, no use wasting your time, young man. We're only here to see one person. But, sir, I had over 1,500 on my SATs. <laughs> A single test, one lucky morning. Do you think Harvard is impressed with that slice of academic baloney? No, we're looking for the straight A student, the student council president, the yearbook editor, and here at Bay Dock View side, you have the student all rolled into one. Jessica Spano, the find of the century. <laughs> Furthermore, only a corrupt system would allow a meathead like you go to Stansbury while a true intellect like me gets turned away. Jesse, you know what? You are right. This system stinks. This meathead is going to go into that gym and tell Helen that if Stansbury won't take you, she can take my scholarship and stuff it. Slater, wait, it won't help anything if you ruin your future, too. Young man, you're not fit to shine Jessica Spano's shoes! Why don't you go over to Mrs. Billy Goat Cheese Ham Sandwiches' excuse for the university? We don't want you at Harvard! You're very... As a matter of fact, we... Gotta go? Yes! Your presence is an insult at Harvard! I... I... Would you hurry up? We don't want Jesse to see... Come on. Don't do anything you regret! Oh. <laughs> Oh, so, so oh, sorry. Oh, Excuse so, me. So, so. <clears throat> James, is that you? No, Jesse, it's not. Uh, mm, excuse me. Uh, brochures I could look at. Um. <laughs> Chairman of the SAT board? Yes, Stanley Allen Taylor, SAT. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've come here to talk to you about Zachary Morris. We at the testing board are worried sick about him. You worried? Why? You don't know, you poor fool, do you? We at the testing board have discovered that those students who score over 1,501 on our test are performing terribly in college. They are? Yes, because unenlightened, putty-headed principals are burning out these bright minds with extra work. Hopefully that's not happening here, is it? <laughs> See, I thought that you had to challenge a mind like Zach's. Precisely wrong! <laughs> Only a misguided twit would burden a brain like his with extra studies. Or what should I do? Give him no <laughs> homework. <laughs> Allow his mind to think freely. <laughs> that is, of course, if you care. I care. I care! Zach Morris, report to the principal's office. Sir, I just happen to be walking by your office. What's up? Zach, this is Mr. Taylor <laughs> of the SAT board. We have decided to put you back in your old classes. But, sir, I was, I was enjoying all the extra hours of homework and bonding with nerds. You see, we must move quickly. I suggest giving him a day or two off to clear his cluttered mind. It's essential. He's got it. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I love school. No, you need time off, Zach. Well, only if you insist. I insist. Someday you'll thank me, Zach. Okay. I know you have my best interest at heart. 